Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the next episode of the Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough. We can see the sun is rising in the background. We have the. F well, I was going to say a full moon, but it's not blistering down on us. And we're going to get straight in with the main mission. Now, over there, it looks like there is some sort of a gunshots being fired. So I want to go and see what this is. I think it's one of those random encounters you get. But this means it could be bloody anything. So it's only fair we investigate. Oh, there's dead people. Oh my lord. I think we just got a heist. I think we need to uh, intervene. I won't lie, as the first one on, I think we kind of smoked that pretty damn well. Wow, maybe I am a Clint Eastwood wannabe, but what were they taking? Stro stuff from this train, I'm assuming? It must have been, wasn't it? Well, good thing I'm a great cowboy. Anyway, that was a hell of an introduction to that. But we actually have the main mission of the Greys to go do. So that's what I'm inclined to head towards now. But I'm feeling good, I just saved all their lives. I am starting the video off with a bang. <laughs> and look at all those stars as well. Beautiful, beautiful stars. Anyway, so I think we're going to the Greys' actual mansion. I think that's the plan, I'm not too sure. It's been a minute since I've been on this, but we'll make our way over and see what a delightfulness we are in for. Oh yeah, it does look like we're headed right into the mansion of the Greys, I believe. I mean, look at this damn house. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? It's something we can all dream of and aspire to, I think. But uh, you never know, maybe one day. Let's see what these boys are saying. I'm the Sheriff's deputy. Orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. Hell Racing yeah. deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he Hey, that's no way to Look, respect me. In, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in, lads. I am the law. I'm a judge dread of uh of this civilized America. I mean, look at this estate. <laughs> Hot diggity. I'm liking it here. Hot diggity dog. This place is magnificent. Oh, here he is. Hello, Bo. How are you going to help me? Uh, I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <sighs> Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you, what are you doing here? I was just looking for I work. am here to save the <laughs> day. Something. Arthur worry, Morgan is a man on a mission. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> normal. <Thing> is, <laughs> I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. Oh. But it's we're doing impossible. some sort of weird love, love story. Be complicated. Wow. She's a this took a turn I was I'm not expecting. Gray. It's been Son a while since I've gray, helped play the part of, of Romeo gray, and Juliet. Sheriff, of I need to get my uh, love song sound <laughs> effect ready to go. <laughs> I'll pay. I've got money. We oh my raise. god, he's gonna pay money. us. No brains, man, but money. Absolutely, we'll have some money for it. I love how you see how quickly Arthur turned around to say yes. <laughs> he will never say no, Please. he will do anything for a good bit of buck. Right, so we are really gonna help this buddy out. Will Bo get to give us the information we need? I mean, the only problem is, stealth has never been my strong suit. I mean, I've done, you know... Skyrim stealth archers, but they're not as fun as a battle mage, you know? And again, even in Cyberpunk, I'm not the best at stealthy, and I'm sure it's going to apply to Red Dead. I am not made for stealth. However, for the course of love, it's got to be done. <laughs> we must be getting close to this farm now. I'm kind of thinking, how am I going to plan this? Do I have to, like, 
silently take down guards or do I just not have to be seen at all? Right, let's get off the hall. Oh, look, there's fog. We can use this. Go stealth mode, Arthur. That's it. We will hide in the shadows. I am the darkness. And the problem is now, this guy right here, he's just not doing anything. He's staring off, wondering, what, is he going to have for dinner or something? <laughs> just do something. There we go. Okay, perfect. Right, we're going to go around this way. Oh my god. I think I've been caught, lads. Yeah, I'm a tourist, buddy. I'm a tourist. Look, I think the gist is up. Hold up. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, as, as I said, stealth maybe is not for me. <laughs> I mean, when I, I look at this mission and I am literally doing this for a guy, for, for love. This doesn't really sound Arthur Morgan's forte, if you ask me, but he's a good dude, isn't he? And for that, we gave him credit. This guy's getting super, super close. Look at him. He's thinking about, what's for dinner, man? Should we have some potatoes or stew? <laughs> okay, perfect. Moving on. Okay, it's really foggy now. This is good. This is really helpful. Okay, so it's just on the other side of this little body of water, which is fine. We're going to quickly go now. He's not looking. He's not looking. We're going. We're going. Yes, Arthur, you actual ninja. I love that. Right, here we are. Is the woman here? Families are... are There's something else. Hmm. You got a family, I mean, sir? Dutch is my family. No, not really. Arthur, well, we have Dutch, man. Come on, Charles. But me, Come on, we have a good family. With my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, oh, we will you give this wow, to Wow, we're, we're, we're a postman. Job. We're postman Pat. Arthur Morgan's part-time job. Well, looks like we're in the clear. I don't want to say anything too soon, but I think I am. So maybe stealth is my forte after all. I mean, we'll just ignore the fact that I completely screwed up the first time, but yeah. Stealth is for me, I guess. <laughs> right, run, Arthur, run. Whee. Love mission done. I don't mind. I, I, again, I feel like I really clown on stealth missions. They're not that bad. I just, you know, pr always prefer gun swinging, you know, shoot your way out of it. Anyway, that's just my theory of it. Anyway, what do you guys think of my new, uh, my new outfit? I've put on a bit of a burgundy-esque jacket with you know a bit of a nicer shirt especially because someone in the comments actually said i was wearing the wrong outfit for this uh biome so now i've changed it hopefully arthur won't overheat and he looks pretty damn cool if you ask me and of course arthur's hat is the crown jewel of the piece so bloody beautiful i do like this jacket and of course my little deputy badge because i am i am the law i told you i'm judge dread in this Oh my god, look, I can see him running. Look at that. He's such a good boy. Get over here, Simon. You bloody beautiful steed. We have a mission to go do, buster. Brave wait. Uh, yes, boss, I'm out of here. Oh my god. I thought I was in this, the home front. <gasps> I've just remembered. This is the Braithwaite Manor. This is the one we storm in that amazing mission later. Oh my god. Wow, I cannot wait for that. That gave me proper flashbacks then. I just recognised the uh, the avenue of trees and I was like, oh my god, this is it. You know, the, <laughs> it was like for Wojak moment. They want the smoke. Yeah, get out of here, lads. And there was another one hiding over there. There we go. And another one. I guess they all want it today. What are you doing, Vista? <laughs> uh, I don't think you put me in the dirt there, lads. I don't think you will. Again, even when they catch me off guard. I'm too good. Anyway, they really interrupted me. I was telling you guys about how I'm going to 
mess up that brave weight mana when it's time to come. I was saying you like I'm pointing to it like it's oh my god, it's the mana. <laughs> you know me. I was just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. Come on, let's get out of here. No. I'm the acting deputy boys. How could they not recognize me? But yeah, I guess that uh, shooting explains the the love between the two families. <laughs> uh, basically, don't get involved with it, otherwise you're gonna get shot. You got my money. Sure. Classic Arthur. Give anything? Straight in with the line. Yes. Hell yeah. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Oh my god, are uh, we gonna get him more money? I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, we gave in. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> You're Arthur's actually a good guy. Thank you. He's got a good heart. He lets love flourish. Oh God. In all of the world. What a woman. Unlike incest. Excuse me. I incest. want to marry my cousin Matilda. I oh. want to marry Penelope. He's going to marry his cousin. But wow. Gonna... Okay. Guys, They'll kill do her not do that. <laughs> They've done it before. Mr. You got to help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just... No more running around with letters. Thank you. Oh, I thought Arthur liked the love letters. I think going. it's, you know, so old school romance. Come on. Oh, we're running now. Oh, no, we're mounting the horse. Miss Calhoun! Am I going to drive a bandwagon? My friend here Yo. says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us. Hell it's yeah. Union well, front. I we're a, we're a team. Protest march before. Yeah, me neither. Well, just treat Let's us like the sheep, and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> this right, is ladies. not what I expected. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Oh, we're going to the bank. Let's go. Nah, nah. I told you earlier, guys. I've got the guns just in case, because you never know what happens in the Wild West. Something's going to go wrong. Uh, something always goes wrong at a protest. Someone's going to get hurt. Bound to happen. Stop them from ruining the speech. Oh, we're getting called in. Reinforcements, come on, Arthur. Oh, oh. Let's manhandle the situation. Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. What? You'll hit me? Oh my Come god, on. we're, we're going to spark him out in an alley. <laughs> I can see it happening. Like, it's happening, isn't it? Let's go. Wow, I thought we were going to smash him out in the alley. Damn. Remember, we are to peaceful protest. I forgot. This okay, what's is the awful. plan here, bro? Nobody died. What's the plan Nobody here? Awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh... Yeah, he's a great. They me out of he's the rolling in it. I've seen his house. He's got a mansion. Artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her. That's a lot of cash there, I saw. Damn. Arthur's about I to be a happy go. boy. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Bo, it's alright. I got you. If you want some help, let me know again, buddy. He's not too bad. He's just a kid with a, a good heart, as they would say. He gave me 30 bucks. Yeah, we smashed that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Anyway, look. As I was saying, check out my new outfit in all its glory. I got the posh boots on down there. Hoo -hoo. I got the upgraded holsters on. I got a nice red jacket. And of course, the crown jewel. The Arthur bloody hat. Look at it. And I'll, oh, can't forget the deputy badge there, because I am the law. <laughs> oh, what the hell's hey, happening here? Please, gotta help me. Hey, mate. What's up? Fellas broke into our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. 
got a new a rescue right. mission where is she hell she yeah in the swamp by the water <laughs> okay I go got on, it. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. Let's go. Let's go. I will always save lays. If this is a trap, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm trying to be honourable. Oh my god! No, he's not. He wasn't lying. Oh, what the hell? Where's my gun? What the hell just happened? <laughs> I completely messed that up. Wow, wow. Right, that is uh, not what you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I literally ran in there. I literally ran in with not a plan. I don't know why I couldn't draw my guns. Wow. Okay, maybe I need a break from action. I'm going to go see Albert. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, look. An alligator. Or oh, is that a crocodile? I can never tell, but I want to get it. Oh, those things are tough. Tough bloody boys. Three shots and it was not having it. Damn. Okay. I ain't messing around with them beasts anytime soon. I got it. No, no. We're going to control it. Get over here. Get over here. Yep, yep. Come to me. Come to me. Oh, I hope it's a catfish or something cool. What is that? I don't know what that is. What is it? A bluegill. Okay. Ooh, pan fried of cheese. Ooh. Let's put it back. Oh, I got something already. Damn. This guy messing around. Come on, quick, quick, quick. We got him, we got him, we got him. Wow, maybe fishing is my forte, guys. And maybe I'm meant to be doing this. My cooling of life. No, no, no. Don't fight me. Don't fight me. Get over here, buddy. You are me. Just I don't want it to be another bluegill. I want something different. That'd be cool. Ooh, that looks different. What is that? A pickerel. Oh, it's a pike family. Ooh. Cornmeal bait. Well... I guess now I know. I need like a really good gun. What's my best damage one? A rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now watch this. Oh, what? Oh my god, I actually got it. Whoa. Okay. Okay, you guys may not be impressed, but oh my god, this is big. I actually... Wow, look at that. Perfect. Ooh. I can cook the meat. Okay. Well, I've now got crocodile skin. That's pretty cool. Uh, this guy doesn't look good either. Oh, why is everyone f getting ill, man? Come on. What's going on here? But I've got my alligator skin. Oh, can I pick him up? Can I do two at once? Please. I don't think I can stow it on Simon. Will it work? I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Oh, what do I do here? What do I do? This is so hard. I'm going to leave the skin. I'm going to save a life. I am going to save a life, people. I am the bigger man. I mean, we're going St. Denis. I haven't been here yet, so this is cool. It's another place to explore. Yeah, stay awake, Buster. I need to give him, like, a shot of adrenaline. Actually, no. If he's bleeding out, that would not help, because his heart would pump out more blood. What a good doctor. Get in. I mean, look at that arm. He's been gnarled up pretty bad. Must have been a gator. Otherwise, he would have been in that swamp, buddy. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. Hell yeah, man. Let's have it. Look after him, Doc. Uh, uh, what happened? 
Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. I got you. Oh my god, he's giving sure. me money it's as well. It's also a matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. Alright. Alright. Wow. Well, blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. He's gonna amputate I'll his as arm. as much as I can, but... I'll have to amputate. What? Oh my god, he what is really gonna cut his arm. To uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. Oh my god. You did a good thing bringing him here. Wow. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Wow, he's really putting a tourniquet on. And then the saw is right there. Oh my lord. Okay. So. Well. Look, my, my mate is, uh. Just, you know, fast asleep. It's going to wake up and be a bad dream. Anyway, I say there's life. So, <laughs> conscience is clear of my half. Something to go with what I am now looking swish. Holy lord, look at that. Man like Arthur is dressed for business. I'm even wearing a tie. That got a waistcoat. If you see this guy coming, you know he's sorting himself out. Right. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Well, this is kind of a nice place to end it because... I'm in a brand new city and I'm looking good and I'm feeling good and that's the most important thing and now that I am dressed for the part next time I go see my friend Albert I'm going to be bloody looking banging at any photos he takes of me so I think uh, we'll uh, you know, cut it timely for there anyway I just want to say thank you so much for watching this episode I hope you've enjoyed have a great day and I'll see you on the next one so take care and bye <laughs>